Rebound taken away by Lankus. Throws it out and taken away from uh, them now. Quickly down to Lankus. He goes out for the jam. That's down the line. Love tip it off and get it on. It's basketball action. Monday, Monday's going to drive down. Get to Miller. Miller for three. Congratulations on his own season opening win and looking forward to see what the uh, next season tonight. 3.8 seconds to go. 56, 56. Don't go anywhere, folks. And he'll shoot for the push at the buzzer. It's all. Clark Ray's win. I'm Gary Clark. See you at the game. And back here at Piggy County High School, getting set for boys action, getting ready to get underway here in just a moment. The eight and three Clark Range Buffaloes take on the five and two Piggy County Bobcats, both one and one in the district. Of course, uh, last year Piggy County won both matchups, 65-41 and 79 to 37. And since 05, Clark Range, and, or actually Piggy County has a 16-11 record against Clark Range since 05. But Piggy County is coming off that 87-60, loss Tuesday at Jackson County. That's a big loss uh, for the uh, uh, Bobcats. Now, Clark Rangers, they're coming off that huge win over Trousdale County as they roll over Ca- Trousdale County 69-50. to 50. So a big win for them. They're on a little bit of a win streak while the Bobcats have lost their last one. Let's take a quick timeout, and we'll be back to take a look at starting lineups for this one in just a moment. Keeping your comfort in mind. Call 879-5909. Conditioned heating and cooling. With great power comes a great electric bill. Upgrade to a new top-of-the-line American Standard heating and air conditioning system today to start saving energy dollars. Have comfort and peace of mind this winter. Ask about our hassle-free financing options. Call Condition Heating and Cooling for your free quote today. Ventures Farmers Co-op, your local hometown store, proudly supporting our hometown buffaloes and dragons. Co-op wishes you a winning season, one game at a time. Co-op, your first choice for farm, home, lawn and garden, and a gift shop for giving and decorating needs. Co-op, serving this area for 70 years with quality products. That's your Co-op, located just two miles south of Jamestown. And we're getting set for boys action get underway here in just a moment. Taking a look at the district standing right now. Clay County sets atop the district as they're 2-0 on the season. They beat Jackson County and Gordonsville. Monterey also at 2-0. Of course, they beat Clark Range. And uh, I forget that. I think it was, uh, I'm not sure who the second one was they beat. But uh, Clark Range sets at 1-1. They beat Trousdale, lost to Monterey. Piggy County's 1-1, beat Red Boyle, lost to Jackson County. Gordonsville's 1-1. They lost to Clay County, beat Trousdale County. Jackson County won and one they lost to uh, uh, Clay County and beat Pickett, while uh, Pitt, Red Bull and Springs is 0-2. They lost to Pickett and Monterey, and Trailsdale County is 0-2. They lost to Clark Range and Gordonsville. So uh, Monterey has beaten Gordonsville. That's the other one that Monterey has beaten. So uh, you've got uh, two teams right here that's trying to stay uh, in that hunt for one of the top spots in the district, as this one's going to be a really close district. We saw Clark Range play a really good game with the district leader, one of the district leaders, Monterey. Pete Kelly, we saw them play in the, earlier against uh, AA DeKalb game. They looked really good. So this one should be a good one here, and we're getting ready for starting lineups in just a moment. Boring breakfast? Liven up your breakfast routine with Dairy Queen's delicious biscuits and gravy. We give you warm buttermilk biscuits smothered in a rich country gravy with DQ Signature Sausage. It's a hearty southern classic perfected by Dairy Queen. Available at participating locations. At DQ, we have fan food, not fast food. Whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember, when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And now over. Over.
And here we go. We're getting set for boys' action to get underway. Clark Range took the girls' game 69-60. The Lady Buffaloes handling the Lady Bobcats, their first loss of the season. And now it's going to be the Buffaloes and the Bobcats. Both looking uh, for a big district win here, and this one would be a big one for both of them. First for the visiting Buffaloes of Clark Range High School. Starting tonight uh, for the Buffaloes, they will start with Austin Monday. Monday's going to have a big night shooting the ball tonight, and one ball. Sean Mikowski, uh, Mikowski has to have a big night uh, shooting the ball as well. Riley Stevens, the magic man, will uh, need to handle the ball well tonight. Nick Hall's got to keep the uh, Pekin County boys off the boards. And Josh Bilbrey also got to do a good job rebounding tonight because the Bobcats come in big and loaded, folks, as the Bobcats uh, starting uh, five here in just a moment. Pekin County uh, looking to rebound from a 80-67 to 67 loss, uh, their last game out against Jackson County. They're going to try to rebound on that one here tonight against the Clark Range Buffaloes, but this one should be a good one. Clark Range been shooting the ball very well. Been a lot of up and down basketball for the Buffaloes. Uh, they just have struggled with a little bit of the height situation, and that's what the Bobcats have. They'll be starting out with Trent Young. Trent uh, will be the one of the starters. Number 32, Parker Gore. Parker Gore coming out, and Parker uh, on the football team. Bryson York, also a member of the football team, got hurt during the football season and just got back right before basketball season started. Brian Gibson uh, and uh, Dawson Abbott, your final two. Gibson uh, with the size advantage in, and uh, Bryson York has quite a bit of size advantage on the Buffaloes. We'll see how Clark Range can handle that. Clark Range, meanwhile, has those great shooters and that great speed. We'll see how the Bobcats can handle that. As we get set to get this one underway, time to line them up, tip it off, and get it on. It's District 6A boys action now. Brought to you here on WDEB and uh, Twin Lakes Cable Channel 954 by our Fitters and Piggy County sponsors. Getting a lot of folks in tonight, and we appreciate both uh, sponsors for both. And be sure to be watching for the videos. I think these videos are going to be shown, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on uh, Sunday. But we'll check it out. We'll have that on for you coming up later in the weekend. The opening tip belongs to the Buffaloes. As Nick Hall gets it over to Briley Stevens, and Stevens will get it to Monday. Here comes the boys of Clark Range. Clark Range with the basketball. Left side goes Monday over to Mikowski. Down to Bilbrey. Bilbrey's had some good games lately. Gives it up to Mikowski. Mikowski inside to Stevens. Stevens against York goes down the corner to Hall. Back out to Monday for a three. No good. Rebound on the floor, and Young comes up with it. Out to Abbott. Abbott will bring it on the run. Dawson Abbott in the front court. Abbott with the ball off to Young. Young with it. Back to Abbott. Abbott with the basketball. Gives it over uh, uh, to uh, Gibson. Back to Abbott. Inside to York. York going to drive in. York uh, bumping against uh, 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 Bilbrey, but can't get the uh, shot to go in on the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball between. Now they're going to give us a foul against Clark Range. That's going to go against Briley Stevens. Stevens definitely outsized against Parker Gore. As with it now is uh, Gore with the basketball. Gives it over to Abbott. Abbott. Abbott working out front. Abbott. Gives it up to Gibson, top of the key. Gibson uh, down to Young. Young back over to Gibson. Inside to Gore, stripped and stolen by Monday. Monday's got a step. Monday's got the layup on the other end. Monday showing that speed gets the first two of the night uh, for the Buffaloes, and Clark Range leads early. Back the other way comes Gibson. Gibson down to Abbott. Abbott back up front now uh, to uh, Young, and Young will work it over to Gibson. Gibson now going to fire for three. He gets it. Brian Gibson with a three ball, and it's a one-point lead now for the Bobcats. Clark Range uh, with the basketball. They're working inside to Stevens. Stevens against York. Drives through all the way through. Gives it out to Hall. Hall fires the three. And Hall answers with a three ball. Nick Hall knocks it down. And we've got a uh, two-point ball game. Back the other way now. We'll come uh, Piggy with the basketball. Working in Young. He's going to drive all the way through. Give it to Abbott. Abbott out of the corner. Draws the three ball. Okay, folks, this is going to be a high-scoring one. Back the other way now. We'll come Monday with the basketball. Monday going to drive in, takes it all the way to the rack, and a blocking foul on York. Bryson York going to pick up his first of the night, team's first. 
Mark Ranger working in on the end. Now, actually, it'll be two shots for Monday, so Monday's going to go to the line for a pair of them. Going uh, to the line is uh, Monday. Monday's first one good. Austin uh, makes it a tie ball game. In now will come number 14, uh, John Reagan, comes in for the Bobcats. Out will go Par or Parker Gore. As back of the line that will be Monday to give his team, try to give his team the lead. Second one gives his team the lead. Monday hits both ends of it. Say four points for him and a one-point Clark Range advantage. With the ball, Abbott over to Young. Young looking to drive. Young has knocked away from behind. Good hands by Mikowski. Mikowski knocks it away, and here come the Bubblos. Clark Range quickly in the front court. Mikowski with the ball. Over to Monday. Monday for a long three. No good. Rebound, Bryson York. York gives it over to Abbott, and Abbott will bring it. Abbott in the front court. Abbott with the basketball. Abbott working out front, gives it over to Young. Young back out front now to Reagan. Off to uh, Gibson. Gibson for a three and nothing but the ball of the cup for Brian Gibson as they've got three three balls. Back the other way comes Hall. Hall with the basketball. Hall going to work it and, and, and as it's stolen away, taken away uh, by Pickett County. Pickett County going to work the basketball up. Abbott going to fire for three. Good. Dawson Abbott for three, and Clark Range wants to talk about it. Five minutes left to go in the first. It's a 12-5 Picky County lead. The Gary Maxwell Insurance Office offering area insurance is located at 300 West Central Avenue in Jamestown. Get a free quote for your home, auto, life, or business with no obligation to buy. Call 879-1251. Shane Beatty, Katie Cooper, Tammy Robbins, and Brad Rain's agents, along with Jeff Robbins, manager, will be happy to assist you. That's Gary Maxwell Insurance, located 300 West Central Avenue, with locations in Livingston, Cookville, and Gainesboro. Five minutes exactly left to go here in quarter number one, and B County up by a nickel now. They lead it 12 to five on the back of five or th four three pointers. They've got four three pointers in this uh, first quarter. Clark Range with the basketball. It's driving in as uh, Bilby puts it out to Mikowski. Mikowski puts it up, and the ball goes up over the top, bounces up. Bradley Stevens drove in, gave a good pass off to Bilby. Bilby dished it out to Mikowski, and Mikowski missed the jumper. Back will come uh, Pete Gannett with the basketball and the lead. They'll work it into Abbott. Abbott will bring it up. Dawson Abbott in the front court gives it over to Gore. Gore down down the right side of Reagan. Reagan back up front to Abbott. Abbott spins, puts up the jumper. Rolls off. Rebound Hall. Good board work by Hall. Gives it over to Riley Stevens, and here come the Buffaloes. Clark Range with the basketball. Right side to Monday. Trent Young will check back in. Phillips going to check in for the Buffaloes. Ball goes down to Bilbrey. Bilbrey cross courts it to Hall. Hall for a three. Good. Nick Hall knocks down his second three ball, and the Buffaloes cut it to two. Abbott with the basketball for the Bobcats. Gives it over to Gore. Gore down to Reagan. Reagan looking to drive. Kicks it back out front to Abbott. Or make that to Gibson. Gibson now that's a stolen by Mikowski. Good hands by Mikowski. Mikowski going to take it against Abbott. Puts it up and scores. Good body work by Mikowski to give Clark Range a tie. We're tied at a dozen apiece. Now with the basketball, Gibson left side. Gibson down to Abbott. Abbott working it back up front now to Reagan. Reagan works it over to Gibson. Gibson knocked away from mine. Good hand work again by the Buffaloes. Uh, Riley Stevens, I believe, on that one. Phillips will come in, man. Out will go Bilbrey. Gibson going to bring it in out front to Young. Young with the basketball. Young goes inside to a Gibson. Gibson will back it out. Now Gibson will drive in. Kick it back over to Abbott. Abbott for a three. Good. You can't leave Dawson Abbott open. That's the fifth three ball of the quarter as all P. County's uh, points come from beyond the arc. Now driving in is Hall. Hall has it stolen away. And then we have a jump ball. It goes to P. County on the all day possession. Clark Range with the turnover. 3-16 left to go here in quarter number one. Pete County's got 15 points, and it's won five three balls. Back the other way now. Will come Abbott with the ball. Abbott going to bring it in the front court. Gives it over to Young. Young back out front to Abbott. Abbott uh, will pull up, take a long three. That one's off. Rebound Young. Young goes back up, and he's fouled. And we'll see that whistle it against. 
They're going to whistle against Austin Monday, his first team second. Three minutes and one tick left to go here in the first quarter. Going the line, Trent Young. Young's first one, good. Trent gets the first point that's not a three ball for Piggy County. He'll have one more. It's a four point lead now for Piggy County, and the second one, good as well. Five point lead now, it's 17 12, three minutes to go in the first quarter. Clark Range with the basketball, Monday in the front court. Monday to the left side, picked up by Young. Monday will come around the pick, kick it down the corner of Mikowski. Mikowski drives and gets it out to Stevens. Stevens will drive and get it out to Mikowski, back to Stevens. Stevens going to drive in, kick it over to Hall. Hall down the corner to Monday. Monday going to drive through, try to go inside to Stevens, knocked away, but Monday comes up with it. Good hustle. Gets inside to Phillips. Phillips a little turnaround. Good. Daedric Phillips with his first two of the night, and it's back down to a three-point ball game. 2.24 left to go here in quarter number one, 17-14. Now Piggy County's Gore going to drive. He'll take the short jumper good. A nice drive by Parker Gore as he gets the two, and it's down back to a five-point game. Monday the other way, drives in, kicks it out to Mikowski, over to Stevens, off to Hall. Hall looking to drive. Hall's going to drive down baseline, pulls up the short jumper, no good. Rebound is by Abbott. Abbott going to bring it on the run. Abbott in the front court. Pulls up, holds up. 151 left to go here in quarter one. Abbott gives it over to Young. Young with the basketball. Young working it out front. Gives it over now to Abbott. Abbott with the ball. Backs it out. Abbott. Working it out front. Now Abbott will take the three. No good. Long rebound. Ran down by Nick Hall. Hall will give way, come up with it. He'll send it up quickly to Briley Stevens. Stevens in the front court. Stevens works it in, backs it out. Stevens with the basketball off to Monday. Monday over to Mikowski. Down to Hall. Hall for another three. Hall knocks down the three ball. Nick's got three threes, and it's a two-point game. 105 left to go in the first. Gore going to drive. Gore lose the hand line now. Still on the ground. Gore kicks it. Gore paylayed that one as it went on the floor, and he just kicked it to his uh, partner and... Uh, <laughs> That's one of those hockey skate moves, I guess he used, as he was able to kick it over to his teammate, but they get him for the kick ball, and here come the Buffaloes, a chance to tie or take the lead. 56 seconds. You can tell Parker Gore is a football player. The guy's a great running back. Now where the ball goes, Monday. Monday drives in out to Hall. All over to Stevens. Stevens. Started by Gore. Gives it over now to Monday. Monday backs it out. Park Rangers may go for the last shot. We're down to 35 seconds. He'll send it down to Hall. Hall back up front with it. Leaves it for Briley Stevens. 30 seconds to go here in quarter number one. Stevens with the basketball. Stevens going to drive through. Stevens, a good job handling the ball. Gives it over to Monday. 20 seconds left to go here in this quarter. Quarter number one, uh, 1917. Pete County by two. Park Rangers with the ball. Down to 13 seconds. Now 10. Money drives to the guy, knocked away from behind. We get Gore on the foul. Parker Gore on the reach, picks up the foul. That will bring Reagan off the bench. And Gore will take a seat with 9.2 seconds to go here in quarter number one. Ball comes into Monday. Monday with the basketball. Monday going to drive all the way through. Tasty kicks it out to Mikowski for a three. No good rebound. Nick Hall back up. No good. We're through one. End of one, it's Picky County, 19, Clark Green, 17. It's time to get out and support our local teams. Hall Family Pharmacy has all the gear you need to cheer on your favorite team. Our Jamestown store has the purple and yellow for York, and our Clark Range store is stocked up with the blue and gold for Clark Range. Oh yeah, there's plenty of orange from Volunteer Traditions and Give Her Six at both locations to cheer on the Vols. We are proud of our sports families at each school. It's fun and healthy to take pride in our state and our community, and we have all the equipment you need to look good and have a good time. Hall Family Pharmacy, our family, your health. 
Because most insurance deductibles have been met by the end of the year, Dr. William Allen at Jamestown Family Chiropractic wants to remind you that this would be a great time to have your spinal alignment checked or to address that nagging discomfort that just seems to linger. And if needed, they also have on-site low emission x-ray equipment that can help determine the extent of the problem. Jamestown Family Chiropractic wants to help you get your new year off to a healthy, pain-free start. Call them today at 931-879-8931. Well, we've got a shootout going in this one as uh, quarter number one uh, ends up with the Pinky County Bobcats, a two-point lead. Clark Range with the ball to start uh, quarter number two. Clark Range girls winning not 69-60. to 60. Clark Range led at one point by 13 in that one. So Lady Bobla is a, a pretty good win here at... Uh, Piggy County tonight as now with the basketball will be Briley Stevens. Stevens going to work it up. Comes down the pick of Deidre Fizz off to Monday. Monday for the lead. They've got it. Austin Monday now with uh, seven on the night and Clark Range with a one point lead. 7.45 Gibson with the ball over uh, to uh, Bryson York. Bryson York at the free throw line. Drives in. Knocked away. Stolen away. Here comes Monday with the ball. Monday going to kick it up. Who's using his body goes up and scores. Good job by Monday to use his body on that one. And Clark Range goes up by three. Back the other way, Abbott over to Young. Young with the basketball. Off to Gibson. Gibson looking to drive. Gibson will spin in the lane. Little runner, no good. Rebound pulled down by Clark Range. Riley Stevens on the run. Stevens gives it over to Monday. Monday for a quick three ball. That one's no good. Long rebound goes out of bounds. And it will be... Clark Range basketball, they say one of the game players touched it. I didn't see that, but they say Clark Range touched it out of bounds. Ball comes in the hall. Hall puts it up, and uh, we got a kick in the ball on that one, and Piggy can't got a break on that one because Hall had the little jumper. As ball comes in, knocked away, stolen away this time uh, by Reagan. Good hands by Reagan. Here comes Piggy County with the basketball. Piggy County in the front court. Abbott drives all the way in, and it's going to be... I think they're going to whistle a foul on Clark Range, and we'll see who the call goes against. It goes against Briley Stevens. Briley has his second. Stevens second personal as uh, Gibson uh, lobs it in this time uh, to Reagan. Reagan over to Young. Young with the ball. Young inside uh, to Gore. Gore with it. Gore drives in, puts it up, no good. Rebound, Briley Stevens. Stevens got the board. Here come the Buffalo. Clark Range with a three-point lead and uh, the basketball. They'll give it over to Monday. Monday with it. Bryson York coming back in. Ball goes inside to Phillips, and that time Gibson read that one away. Gibson's going to be fouled by Monday going for the steal. Austin's going to pick up his second personal. And uh, that time... Uh, Monday went for the steal as he had a dead two on one and he picks up the foul. So Bryson York re enters. Parker Gore will come out. And Bilbrey's going to check into the lineup. Ball comes into York. York with the basketball down inside to Gibson off the glass and going. The bank is open and Gibson just makes a deposit. His first non three ball of the night. It's a one point Clark Range lead now as Clark Range with the basketball. Gives it over to Mikowski. Mikowski back over to Monday inside to, up to Bilbrey top of the key Bilbrey with the ball over to Hall Hall down inside to Daedric Phillips Daedric spins kicks it back out to Stevens Stevens going to drive leave it for Mikowski Mikowski up to Monday Monday going to drive and take the short jump blocked by Bryson York York with the block and here come the Bobcats in the front court will come uh, Abbott Abbott will stop he'll pop and Abbott will drill it Abbott with 12 points all of them from beyond the arc and it's now a one a two point lead for Pickett County. Clark Range with the ball over to Mikowski. Back up right now to Monday. Monday off to Hall. Hall with the basketball. Works up, goes down to Mikowski in the corner. Inside to Phillips. Phillips a little jumper over the shot that one and rebound taken away by Clark or by Pickett County. Front court uh, comes Abbott. Abbott uh, working over uh, top of the key. Knockway gets it back. Now comes up, gets down to Gibson for a three. No good, but we're going to have a foul on Phillips. As uh, Phillips is going to be whistled for it. That'll be three shots, I believe, uh, for Gibson. So Daedric picks up the foul. That's going to be three shots for Brian Gibson. Gibson will have three of them here. First one, good. 
He allowed two more. As Josh Bilbrey gets ready to come back in, second one good by Gibson. It's now a four-point Biggie Cantley looking for five if Gibson can knock this one down. Gibson, free throw, good. 27-22, Piggy County now by a nickel. Clark Reigns with the basketball. And a seesaw battle early in this one. Clark Reigns with the ball. Mikowski back up front to Monday. Monday with the basketball down the hall. Back to Monday. Backdoor court to Mc and pass to Mikowski as he was going to move too high, too hard. Clark Reigns turns it over. 5-0-2 left to go here in the quarter. Headed toward halftime, it's 27-22. Piggy County by a nickel. With the basketball, will come Abbott. Abbott in the front court. Abbott gives it off to Gibson. Gibson uh, stopped by Mikowski, gives it over to Young. Young has to run it down, but comes up with it. Gives it out front to Abbott, back to get to a Young. Young with the ball, Young looking to drive, knocked away, taken away. Good hands by Mikowski, he knocked it away, and Clark Range comes away with it. Clark Range with the basketball, Bradley Stevens going to drive in. Drives the baseline, kicks it over to Mikowski, back up front to Monday for a three, good. Austin Monday with a big three ball, stops the bleeding for the Buffaloes, and it's a two-point ball game. Abbott now over to Gibson, Gibson for three, answers right back. Brian Gibson answers with a three ball of his own. It's a five-point lead now for Piggy County. Back the other way is Monday with a basketball. Monday gives it over to Mikowski. Back up front to Monday. Monday. Over now to Stevens. Stevens going to drive in. Dumps it low to Bilbrey. Bilbrey will lay it up and in. Good pass. And Josh Bilbrey with his first two of the night. Bilbrey has come on as of late playing really well for the Buffaloes. Back the other way now, Abbott with the basketball. Abbott going to send down the corner now to Gibson. Gibson for another three, way off the mark. There's Trent Young, Skyn, and put it back up. No good, puts it back up, no good. Gets it again, and now it's down on the floor, and it's going to be a jump ball, I believe. And we'll see what the officials say. And... Okay, was it a jump ball or? I'm not sure what the officials called on that one. Gore's going to come back in. Young's going to take a seat. Parker Gore will come back in. They'll throw it out front. Knocked away by Mikowski. Can he get to it before it goes out of bounds? Oh, he cannot walk the sidelines. He almost had to steal, but couldn't walk the sidelines. Steps out of bounds. He again gets a break there as the Buffaloes almost had to steal. Back the other way now comes uh, Piggy Kenny with the ball in the front court. It's Abbott. Abbott going to send it over now to Reagan. Reagan into Parker Gore. Back to Reagan for a three. Good. John Reagan with his first uh, ball uh, points of the night. He hits the three and is back now to a six-point lead for Piggy County. Mark Range with the ball. Down the corner, they'll take it to Stevens. Back up front now to Mikowski. Over to Mikowski, into Stevens. Off to Hall, Hall with the basketball. Hall's gonna drive in, give it off Stevens. Back out front to Monday, Monday for a three going. Austin Monday with his uh, third three ball of the night. We're back to a three point game. Young with the ball, will come in. Abbott pulls up, shoots, no good. Rebound taken down by York. York has it stripped away. Clark Range comes out with it. Monday with the basketball. Monday to Mikowski. Mikowski going to drive and a blocking foul on Abbott. Abbott picks up his first personal. Clark Range will keep it. End of the game will come uh, Young. Young will come in and Reagan will come out. As uh, Monday, throws it in the corner to Stevens. Stevens going to drive in, kicks it over to Hall, but it's going to be out of bounds. Clark Range turns it over. Turnover by the Buffaloes, and here comes the Bobcats. 2.31 left to go here in the first half, and it's a three-point game. As with the basketball is Young. Young with it, gives back out front now to Gibson. Gibson goes right side down the corner to Abbott. Inside to York. York takes it strong to the hoop, and Bryson York. Bryson has his first two of the ball game. It's back to a five-point Piggy County lead. Clark Range with the ball in the front court. It's uh, Monday. Monday drives down, drives through. Gives it out to Hall. Hall for a three. No good. 
Abbott. Rebound Abbott. Abbott going to push it. Abbott in the front court. Holds it up now. Abbott going to make a drive in the lane. A little leaner. Rolls out. Rebound though of York. And York's going to be fouled. And I think we're going to have a timeout called by Clark Reigns. Timeout on the floor. And uh, we're going to do it before he shoots it. That's going to be three on Stevens. So Riley have his third. And four with shots, we got timeout, Clark Reigns. Timeout on the floor. 150 to go here in the first half. It's 35-30. Biggie County. Confidence, the one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy. And Clark Reigns Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours. Whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids, Clark Reigns Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice. Clark Range Drugs are always earning. Got a buck 50 left to go in this first half, and it's been an enjoyable first half. Both teams have had the lead. Piggy County now holds a five-point lead as we get back to action. I believe Bryson York will be at the charity stripe when we come back. 35-30. Piggy has led by as many as six. Clark Range by as many as three. And right now, Bryson York can give his team the biggest lead of the night if he can knock these down. Bryson York, first one, no good. No good. He can match the team's biggest lead with this one. As uh, it will be Bryson York back of the line. Second one, no good. Rebound Mikowski. Mikowski cleans the board, and here come the Buffaloes. Clark Reigns with the ball up quickly to Monday. Monday with it. Monday drives in and kicks it back out to uh, Bilbrey. Bilbrey off to Mikowski. Off now to Hall. Hall to Monday. Austin with the ball brings it back up. Clay Smith in the ball game for the Bobcats now. First time for Clay. Ball goes down into Bilbrey. Bilbrey across court to Monday. Monday almost loses it, but comes around the pick of uh, Phillips. He's down to Mikowski. Mikowski for a wide open three. Rims out. Rebound Bilbrey. Good board work by Bilbrey. Out to Monday, and they'll reset it. Monday over to Hall. Inside to Bilbrey. Bilbrey, the little jumper. Rims out. Won't go. And on the rebound, we may have York. And that's going to go against uh, Bryson York going over the back. Bryson will pick up the foul. His second. And uh, we'll get a second. We'll try to see if we can find a York score. I haven't. Well, Linky, they sent me. Well, I might have one. Well, let me see here what I've got here. York girls trail at 31-30 at the half. I don't know. Let's see if I can find a final on that one. Still don't have a final on it. It will be Clark Range basketball. As they get set to bring it in. They'll work it in to Bilbrey in the corner. Bilbrey double team gives it out to Phillips. Knocked away but out of bounds off of Smith. And let's see, I did have that halftime score. York trail at the half. 30 at the half. Clark Range winning their game tonight. With the basketball now is Monday. He'll drive in, back it out. Now Monday will take a big step in, kick it over to Hall. Hall for three. No good. Rebound knocked out by Smith, and now it's a hustle. Smith's going to run it down. Good hustle by Clay Smith out to Gibson for a three. In and out, no good. Rebound pulled by Clark Range. 40 seconds left to go in this first half, and Clark Range with the ball, trailing by a nickel. Out front is Monday. Monday with the basketball. Monday going to drive in. Again, Smith gets around Smith down to 30 seconds. Monday with the basketball. Monday working around, drives in, backs out, down to 20 seconds. Over to Mikowski, back to Monday. Monday with the basketball. Monday. Has it stripped and stolen. Gibson, and, or I should say Smith was still. Back the other way. Gore's going to let up. No good. Rebound Bilbrey. Clark Range is going to get the last shot. Down to nine seconds. They'll give it over to Hall. Hall with the basketball. Hall out front. Hall's looking to drive, and we're going to have a blocking foul on Gore. And number 24. No, that's going to be on Clay. So Clay Smith has his first ball game. And with 2.6 seconds, Clark Range won't be shooting. They'll get the uh, ball, though. Clark Range looking to bring it in. Mikowski going to trigger it. 
Gives it into Monday. Monday going to drive. He puts it up. Blocked out of bounds. That's your halftime score. At the half, it is Dickey Kelly, 35. Clark Range, 30. When it comes to a state representative, actions speak louder than words is Representative John Mark Wendell's motto. John Mark has been a majority floor leader, a member of the House Transportation, Agriculture, and Natural Resources Committees. Locally, he's been a leader in keeping state funding for York Institute, and if one of his constituents has a concern, then it's John Mark's too. So when it comes to state representatives, I guess actions do speak louder than words. And back here at halftime uh, as uh, we have our halftime score, Clark Range and Biggie Kenny. Biggie Kenny on the top, 35-30 at the half. And joining me now, i got Coach Lamar Rogers, who's Lady Bubbles. Coach, a huge win here tonight at Biggie County. Well, sure was. Uh, it was everything I thought it was going to be, you know, two very good teams. Uh, battling back and forth, and uh, I thought we played real well. Uh, we handled the press real good. Uh, I think, we, I think we had fewer turnovers than they did, and uh, we, we barely, we won the free throw battle by shooting two more than they did. So that was, you know, last year we couldn't do that, you know, the four games we played them, and that always helps to get close to that. And uh, uh, just played real solid defense, didn't make a whole lot of mistakes, I didn't think. Coach, uh, how impressed are you by the Monday Twins? Those girls, I said both of them haven't got a drop of blood between them. It's just ice water. Well, that's, that's right. They do an excellent job, and that just uh, – they helped set the table and got a bunch of assists. Uh, those two, and Gracie Bush, and uh, you know Charity and Hannah, and then Reese. All five can, uh, all six can do stuff off the dribble, and uh, you know we're doing that dribble drive stuff this year. Scoring inside a little bit, but uh, uh, penetrating and kicking, penetrating and kicking, and then uh, our defense is real solid also. So real, real pleased. Uh, you know our basketball IQ will keep getting better, and you know we. Showed mental toughness tonight when they made a run at us. And, and uh, you know, I think we can adjust stuff as we season goes on and against Birchtown and Pitt County. And, uh, slow them down a bit more, I think. Coach, uh, one of the bigger aspects, I think, of the game may have been your bench as opposed to theirs. They had, uh, I think, Ellie Smith was the only player they brought off the bench to late in the game, only had no points. And you brought Reese Stover off, who had double digits. That's right. I think she had 11. And uh, we've got six, Jerry, right at 10 points a game. Uh, one of them might be 12, and, uh, you know, we've got maybe a couple nine and a half points a game through uh, nine games this year, and they're just balanced scoring, and uh, they're sharing the ball really good, and they understand what we're trying to get done. And, uh, you know, Reese, you know, really got six starters. We're kind of trying to keep everything playing together, uh, but uh, Reese just ends an offense and adds that quickness when she gets out on the court. Had trouble uh, shutting down Pritchett and Brown, both of them with 20-plus points. That was a big night for them. Well, yeah, Brown's probably averaging more than that. I think she's probably leading the scoring this year, and, uh, you know, Pritchett uh, does so good. But uh, we messed up a little bit. We doubled down and uh, left Brown open for two three-pointers, I think, we weren't supposed to leave them. So, uh, you know, we can correct some stuff, but, uh, you know, they, they do an excellent job. Uh, Pritchett's very experienced and gets this stuff going also. So, uh, but overall, I thought our defense is real solid. Uh, we need to get a little stronger on the boards and everything. But uh, and, and here again, Hannah and Charity uh, battling good. They've got to get most of the rebounds. And, and uh, they can do a better job than they did tonight with the as far as the boys, but they did very solid. When it comes down to the district season, though, it's always great to win one on the other team's floor. Well, yeah, it's absolutely. And uh, you know, it's just one of the, you know, one of the rounds in, uh, you know, like a boxing match. It's just round one, and uh, we'll have to, uh, you know, actually, we've got bad scheduling, Gary. We've got Crumlin County at our place the night before we play Pick County. So that's, that's uh, I think, the only time we can get Crumlin County that second game. So that's... Uh, uh, very uh, two nights is a big bite for us, but, uh, you know, I think we can handle it. Coach, now uh, you got uh, Livingston coming up on uh, Thursday night. Now, Livingston, not the Livingston of the past few years. They've been struggling a bit, but at their place, it's always tough to play. Absolutely, and uh, we need to go down there and be sharp from the get-go. They've got some nice players. I've got the 
watch them twice, I think, this year. And uh, we need to, you know, be effective with our press a little bit. Our press, uh, you know, didn't get steals like we had been tonight. Uh, you know, Pickett's got good ball handles, but then our half-court defensive stuff got a lot of turnovers. So uh, we just need to keep playing hard on the defensive end, and good things will happen for us. And, uh, you know, we run up and down the court and try to you know, rotate rest of people at the same time. So we've got them Thursday, and then, uh, you know, we're taking, we're going to Redbone Springs Friday. They're back in the district, and that's uh, 74 miles away. Uh, you know, we, we've got a... Seems like 74 days away. <laughs> <laughs> it does a little bit. We're in five counties when we go over there, counting Phoenix County, five different counties. And uh, so, uh, you know, going over there is a really good home court advantage. You know, we played over there for, for years till they left our district. And uh, we just got to try to use every game to get better, Gary, and... Uh, uh, just keep playing hard and uh, you know, seeing how good we can get. By January, February, we'll, we'll know, have a good idea how good we can be. Well, Coach, well, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on a huge win here tonight at Piggy County. Best of luck on Thursday. We'll see you down there. Okay, thank you a lot, guys. And that was Coach Lamar Rogers, whose Lady Buffaloes won tonight 69-60. Park Range takes uh, a win here at uh, Piggy County High School. We're at halftime of the boys' game, so it's time for our halftime stats. Hello folks, Bruce Babb, GM, Open Franklin, Florida, in Watford, Tennessee. It's fall time in Tennessee and our prices are falling. We have over 10 cars, trucks, and SUVs for under $10,000. We have the all new 218 F-150 Ford truck in stock. And we have several 2017 F-150s with up to $14,400 in savings. Fall is SUV season in Ford and we have a great selection of the Escapes, Explorers, and Edges with up to $6,400 in savings for $299 per month. Remember, Fords are cheaper out in the country. Give us a call, one eight seven seven new ford openfranklinford.com. Back here now with our halftime stats as we take a look at, uh, first of all, for the uh, Bobcats who lead here at the half, uh, 35 uh, to 30. Uh, we're trying to get those. I didn't get those. Uh, talking to Coach Lamar Rogers didn't get a chance to get my stats, so I'll get them real quick here. Now, here we go. Uh, it was for the Bobcats. Brian Gibson with 14. Dawson Abbott with a dozen. Uh, three for John Reagan, two each for Young, Gore, and York. As far as foul situations, one for Abbott, uh, two for York, one for Gore, one for Clay Smith. For the Buffaloes, they had Austin Monday with 15 points, uh, nine for Nick Hall, two each for Sean Mikowski, Josh Bilbrey, and Daedric Phillips. Now, foul situations, Briley Stevens has three, Austin Monday two, and one for Daedric Phillips. We're at halftime of this one, and at the half, it is uh, Lark Range and Piggy County. Piggy County on top, 35-30. At Metathrift, our main focus is on you and your health. That's why we work closely with your hospital, physicians, and other providers to help ensure that your care is coordinated and that your medications will agree with each other and with you. Because at Metathrift, we're not just a pharmacy. We're part of your health care team. Metathrift, your prescription for teamwork. As a former educator and now your county executive, J. Michael Cross is a proud sponsor of the York and Clark Range Sports Programs. His passion for the betterment of Fentress County, his vision and determination are all evident in his life. He has plans to see the people of Fentress County prosper by making wise use of every available resource. And J. Michael Cross has the wisdom to keep his ear tuned to the needs of the people. When it comes to watching sports, oh. there's no telling what you'll hear. No, 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 no! But when you order Pizza Hut for the game, you know exactly what you'll hear. What the? Oh, that looks fantastic. Your favorite pizza. Ooh. Those awesome wings. What? Plus sides and desserts. Yeah. All waiting at PizzaHut.com. So order now, because no one out pizzas the hut. Huh, what game? Product availability, prices, participation, delivery areas, and charges and minimum purchase required for delivery may vary. Delivery charges not a driver tip. Speed limit 55, right turn only, exit here. With some signs, it's clear what you're supposed to do. But heart attack warning signs aren't always this obvious. They can feel like arm pain, nausea, dizziness, shortness of breath, fatigue. If you experience the warning signs, call 911 and know that at Tenova Healthcare, we're here to help when you need us. 
Here we go with we second go half second action. Half. Uh, just about to get it started. It's 35-30. Piggy County with a five-point yeah. lead here at home. And uh, we're going to step for the second half now to uh, get underway. It will be Clark Range basketball as Clark Range moves right to left this time. And Piggy County move left to right. It will be Buffalo basketball as they come back with their starters. Monday, Mikowski, Stevens, Bilbrey, and Hall. For the Bobcats, they come back with Young, Gore, Gibson, York, and Abbott. So both starting fives back out on the floor, and here come the Buffaloes. Clark Ranger walking across the timeline. It's uh, Monday with a basketball to the right side. Monday going to drive down baseline, cut off, brings it back up. Monday with the ball, sends it over to Hall. Hall with it now. Hall looking inside, gives it back to Monday, inside to Stevens. Stevens against York. Stevens kicks it over to Hall. Hall for a three ball short. Rebound pulled by Gore. Gore off to Abbott. Abbott long pass up to Gibson. Gibson going to cross court, picked off by Briley. Stevens trying to get the young picked off by Stevens. Long pass up to Hall. Hall's got a step. Hall's got the layup. Hall got behind the defense, gets the two, and it's a three-point game. Back the other way, Abbott with the basketball. Abbott over to Young. Young off inside to York, goes through his hands, and Briley Stevens comes up with Stevens going to push it over to Hall. Hall for the tie. Yep. Nick Hall with the first five points, and Abbott wants to uh, coach. And that wants a timeout with 7.08 to go in the third. We're tied at 35 apiece. The decorations are up, the tree is trimmed, and all I want for Christmas is on repeat. With Twin Lakes Broadband, we'll keep you streaming all season long. From movies to music, we'll keep you connected and entertained. And when you add or upgrade to 12 megabits per second or higher broadband for Twin Lakes, you'll get a free all-new Fire HD 8 tablet. But don't wait. This offer is available for a limited time only. To upgrade your service or to learn more, stop by any of our seven local offices or visit us online at twlakes.coop. Terms and conditions apply. Not available in all areas. Whenever there's a project to make our community a better place to live, you'll usually find our members right there doing all they can to help. From sponsoring the kids' ball teams to serving barbecue at a community picnic, they're always there. Thanks for all you do. Upper Cumberland Federal Credit Union. A better way to bank. Federally insured by NCUA. Online at ucfcu.org. Back to action. Abbott uh, drives down, puts up the short jumper. No good. Rebound to uh, Clark Range. Back the other way to Hall. Hall's going to put up the shot. Rebound by Gore. Gore going to get it out to Abbott, and Abbott going to bring it. Abbott long pass up to uh, Reagan. Reagan catches it, lays it in on the run. Good pass from Abbott to Reagan, and Reagan puts the Bobcats back up by a deuce. Clark Range uh, with the basketball now. They'll work it over to Mikowski. Mikowski off to Monday in the corner, inside to Stevens. Stevens with the basketball. Stevens gets up and under, scoops it and lays it up and in. Nice move by Briley Stevens for his first two of the night. And we're tied again, 37. Six minutes to go here in the third. Clark Range with the basketball. Left side, Young. Inside, they'll go uh, to uh, Reagan. Reagan out to Young. Young going to drive in. His pass knocked away. Gore comes up with it. Gore out to Smith. Smith off to Abbott. Abbott with the basketball. Drives through. Gives it over to Young. Young puts up the three. No good. Rebound, Clay Smith. He tries to put back up. Hits the bottom of the backboard, and the Buffaloes come out with it. They'll kick it over to Hall. Hall, a little jumper. Good. Nick Hall with two more. He's got seven. And the Buffaloes have their first lead of the second half. 39-37, Clark Range with a two-point lead. Inside it goes to Ewa Reagan, out to Smith. Clay drives in, drops it off to Ewa Reagan. Reagan puts it up and in. Reagan, a two-man game on that one, and Reagan wins as he gets the basket. And it's a 39-39 ball game. All tied up, 529 left to go here in the third. Ball goes inside to Stevens. Stevens going to kick it out to Hall. Hall for a three ball. No good. Good board work that time uh, by Abbott to keep Bilby off it. Now they give the ball over to Abbott, and Abbott will bring it up. Abbott with the ball. Abbott's going to drive, spin in, give it over to uh, Gore. Off to Smith. Smith to Abbott. Abbott almost lost it to Mikowski. Almost took it away. Abbott with the basketball. Abbott working it. Now goes over to the left side. Gives it to Young. Young inside to Gore. Gore going to take the little short jumper. Rolls off. Rebound Monday. Monday with the board. Here come the Buffaloes. Monday into front court. Monday going to drive around the pig. Takes it. Takes the fake. Puts, puts it up. Blocking. Count the basket. As Monday took it hard to the rack. Austin with a tough shot. Now goes for the natural three. And that's going to go against uh, Trent Young. 
Gibson going to come back in. Gore will take a seat. 448 left to go in the third quarter. A two-point lead now for Clark Range. And Monday looking for the natural three has got it. Monday makes it a three-point Buffalo advantage, 42-39. With the basketball is Young. Young looking inside. Now Young trying to drive. Backs up, gives it over to Smith. Smith off to Abbott. Abbott now over to Gibson. Gibson down the corner to Clay Smith. Back up to Young. Young's going to drive it. He has it stripped and stolen, but we're going to have a foul on Mikowski. Mikowski almost picked his pocket on that one, but picks up the personal instead. And that'll be the first on Sean Mikowski, and it's a 39-42. Clark Range lead. Ball comes in to pick it. Kenny uh, Gibson with it. Gives it over to Young. Young to Abbott. Abbott off to Gibson. Gibson back to Abbott. Abbott going to drive in. He'll take the double pumper. No good. Rebound. Oh, tipped up and in by Bilbrey. Bilbrey tried to tip that one out of play, and he tips it in. We'll give that one to Gibson, though. Or to Abbott. As uh, now Clark Range with the basketball. They'll drive in, give it low to uh, Bilbrey. Bilbrey. And before the shot. And uh, the clock evidently did not stop. They're going to take it down to 424. And Clark Range will have the basketball back. That one, a uh, tough one. Clark Range had got an easy basket from Bilbrey, but they wave it off, and Clark Range have to work it in. Clark Range will probably give them the extra few seconds as they'd like to have that basket back. As now Monday with the basketball brings it in the hall. Clark Range by one. They'll get over to Mikowski. Mikowski will fire the three. Short rebound pulled down by Reagan. Reagan with a good board on that one. And here come the Bobcats. Piggy County in the front court. It's Abbott over to Young. Young with the ball. Goes inside to Gibson. Gibson the turnaround rolls off. Rebound Monday. Monday with the basketball. Monday gives it inside to Bilbrey. Bilbrey almost traveling out. Bilbrey little jump hook rolls out. And it'll be out quickly to Abbott. Abbott going to bring it on the run. Abbott in the front court to Smith. Back to Abbott. Clark Range by one. Dadry Phillips getting ready to check into the ball game. They'll give it inside to Gibson. Gibson back to Abbott. Abbott for three. No good. Rebound Monday. Austin with the basketball. 3.38 left to go here in the third quarter. Clark Range with the ball. It's uh, Monday now for three. In and out. No good. Rebound taken away by Nick Hall. Nick Hall going to four foot. Kicks it out. But it's picked off uh, by Smith. Off to Abbott. And Abbott's going to bring it on the run. Abbott in the front court. Drives. Is going to be fouled, I believe, by Briley Stevens. That's four on Briley. Briley Stevens has his four. That's going to get him some pine time as Daedric checks back in. 3.16 left to go here in the third quarter. One point Clark Range lead. Piggy with the basketball. They'll work it in to Gore. Gore back to Gibson. Gibson going to drive in, take the little jumper. No good, but we're going to have a foul on Clark Range. That's going to get some Monday. That's three on Monday. Monday matches his jersey as far as the foul situation. That'll be his third. And officials saying he was leaning into him. Gibson going for the lead now. Ties it with this one. Brian on the night has 15. Looking for 16. 42-42. 43-42. Biggie by one. Clark Range with the ball. In the front court will come Monday. Monday with the basketball. Monday working out front, works it over to the left side. Monday with the basketball. Austin going to drive. He'll take a double pumper good, and it's up a tough shot by Austin Monday. And the Buffaloes take a one-point lead. Abbott with the basketball. Abbott has his strip stolen by Monday. Monday going to take it down, challenge Abbott, puts it up good, and he's fouled. Tough play by Austin Monday and a foul on Dawson Abbott to go with it. And Monday will go for the natural three. Tough shot by Austin Monday on that one. And Abbott uh, called for his second personal. That's going to bring York back in. York's going to check back in. Bryson will come in as out will go Reagan. Add the line uh, will be Monday. 2.46 left to go here in quarter number three. 46-43. Clark Range by three. By four as Monday hits both ends up, or hits the extra point. And now I'm in football again. 47-43, Clark Range up by four. Ball goes in to Gore. Gore looking to drive. Gore going to kick it over to Abbott. 
Had it with the ball. Gives it off to Young. Young going to drive in. Young takes it all the way to rack up. No good. Rolls off. Rebound tipped out, and Gore runs it down. Gore with the basketball over to Abbott. Abbott for a three. In and out. No good. And on the rebound, we got a foul on Pickett County. That's going to be the third on uh, Bryson York. York has his uh, third, and now Young's or not Young, but Reagan's going to come back in as uh, Monday with the basketball gives it over this time to Hall. Hall crosses it over to Mikowski. Mikowski with the basketball. Mikowski up to Daedric Phillips. Daedric will take the jumper in and out, no good. Rebound pulled by Piggy County. Up back the other way comes Abbott. Abbott with the ball. Abbott's going to drive down. He'll put it up. No good, but he's fouled. Abbott's going to go to the line for a pair of them, and I believe that's going to be on Daedric. And for Daedric, got, or no, they got number 30. Okay, they caught on number 34, but Clark Range doesn't have a 34. So Abbott's first one, no good, short-armed it. And Daedric, yeah, Daedric is number 34. I'm sorry, Daedric has his second personal. And out of the line is Abbott. Abbott's second one is good. So it's one out of two, and it's a three-point ball game. Abbott with one out of uh, two, and uh, it's a three-point Clark Range advantage. Clark Range with the basketball. About 100 seconds left to go here in quarter number three. Mikowski over to Hall. Hall will fire downtown three ball. No good on that one. Rebound. That was Nick Hall firing that one as a moment ago, Nate Hall come in. With the ball is Abbott. Abbott inside to Reagan. Reagan shot blocked by Nate Hall. And that come the Buffaloes. They'll give it over to Nate. Nate will take it up, lay it up, and in. Nate with a big basket. Nate Hall off the bench uh, for the Buffaloes. Gets two, and it's back to a lead of five now with 60 seconds to go in the first a third quarter. With now Abbott over to Gore. Gore will drive and take the short jumper. No good. From the iron, rebound Bilbrey. And they'll take it over to Monday. Clark Range may go for the last shot here as Monday out front with it. Gore just having a tough time guarding Monday when it comes to keeping him from running the clock down. They'll give it over to Mikowski. Mikowski with the basketball. Mikowski working out front. Gives it off to Monday. Monday with the basketball. Working out front. Monday going to work it in and out. 35 seconds left to go. Monday with the basketball. 30 seconds. Clark Range looking for the last shot. Leading by five. Monday with the basketball. Monday working it. Monday working out front. Gives it over to uh, Bilbrey. Bilbrey back to Monday. 17 seconds. 16 seconds. Now Monday with the basketball. Drives in, backs out, 10 seconds left to go on this one. Monday going to drive in, kicks it out to Bilbrey, back to Monday. Seven seconds, Monday will drive in, drop it out to Nate Hall. His shot blocked by Gibson, and Abbott's going to have a shot at it. Abbott's going to put it up at the buzzer. No good, we're through three. In the three is Clark Range, 49. Biggie County, 44. It's me, Cherie Sells here, and I want you to stop driving a car that turns your stomach. So chuck it during my leftover exchange sale, and you could get up to five grand more than it's worth. Plus, don't let bad credit leave you napping on the couch. If you're snoozing, you're losing. My For the People credit approval process is a feast of approvals. I'm Cherie Sells, your dealer for the people. Feast your eyes on all the cars at kcchevy.com. We're the dealership in the cow pasture. Hurry, this deal's done on November 30th. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. Vehicle purchase price affects actual trade allowance. Keeping your comfort in mind Call 879-5909 Conditioned heating and cooling With great power comes a great electric bill Upgrade to a new top-of-the-line American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning System today to start saving energy dollars Have comfort and peace of mind this winter Ask about our hassle-free financing options Call Conditioned Heating and Cooling for your free quote today
And back to action. Big Kenny works it in quickly, and Bryson York going to score and cut this down to a three-point game. Abbott, a good pass on that one, able to get it inside uh, for York to get the two. And now Clark Range with the ball, Monday over to Mikowski. Mikowski around, gives it off to Hall. Hall's going to drive the lane, uh, takes it up, puts up the tough shot. Hall, Nick Hall in the nick of time, got 18 of the night now. Heads back to a five-point Clark Range advantage. Abbott with the ball over to Reagan. Reagan with it, working right side, gives it up to Smith. Smith inside to uh, Gibson, he puts it up no good. Rebound taken away. By Monday. Monday, with Monday Monday with a rebound and Monday and Monday working it down drives in kicks it back out now to uh, Mikowski Mikowski with the basketball offload to Monday he'll fire the three no good rebound Hall though sails in and tips it in Nick Hall with 20 and the coach having that wants a timeout timeout on the floor 652 to go in the ball game it's a five point Clark Range lead Ventures Farmers Co-op, your local hometown store, proudly supporting our hometown buffaloes and dragons. Co-op wishes you a winning season, one game at a time. Co-op, your first choice for farm, home, lawn and garden, and a gift shop for giving and decorating needs. Co-op, serving this area for 70 years with quality products. That's your Co-op, located just two miles south of Jamestown. Well, and we're back here with uh, just a moment. I was trying to get a York score. I do have the York score. York and fell, fell to a Kennedy Gate 74 62 in girls' action. So your girls come up short against Cannon County. Now with the ball is uh, Smith. Oh, gives it over uh, to uh, Abbott. Abbott off to uh, Smith. Smith with the basketball. Back out front to Abbott. Abbott with it. Abbott. Working around, Abbott with the basketball. Comes around the pick, gives it over to Reagan. Reagan with the ball now. Reagan will bring it back up front. Give it off to Clay Smith. Smith over to Abbott. Abbott with the basketball. Abbott working it out front. Gives it back up now to Reagan. Reagan off to Gibson. Gibson over to Smith. Smith for a big three. No good. Rebound Monday. Monday out to Hall. Hall's got a step and jams it home. Hall with the flush on that one. And uh, that makes it... A 55-46 Clark Range lead. Back the other way, Abbott with the basketball. He'll spin, double pump it, put it up no good. Rebound tipped out, and Monday's going to run it down. Clark Range getting all the loose balls here. As we got 5.48 left to go here in the fourth quarter. 45-46, Clark Range with their biggest lead of the nine. Monday's going to drive through, give it over to Mikowski. Now off to Hall, all back to Monday. Monday the alley up to Hall, Hall kick it out to Bilbrey. Bilbrey over to Mikowski. Mikowski with the basketball, works it, drives it down, then got it over toward Hall. Hall comes up with it, then we have a foul on Gibson. Gibson went for the steal, picks up the personal in on Brian. That'll be foul number one, so he's not in foul trouble. Fourth team foul for the Bobcats. As Gore and Young come back in, the Smith and Reagan take a seat. Clark Range up by nine. They'll work it into Monday. Monday with a basketball. Monday going to drive down baseline. Kicks it inside to Nate Hall. Nate Hall puts it up no good. Rebound fall four and Young comes away with it. Nate missed a little jumper there. As back the other way comes Young with it. Young with the ball. Young going to take it down the corner to Gibson. Gibson will drive. Gibson going to take it all the way to Rack Store and he's fine. Brian Gibson just took it hard to the rack on that one. Gets the uh, basket. And that's going to be the first on uh, Park Ranges, uh, number 12, Nate Hall, picks up his first of the ball game. Gibson for the natural three, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled uh, by Clark Range. Clark Range. Back the other way now, stolen away by York. Bryson York with the steal. Clark Range turns it over. Up quickly, they'll give it to Young. Young for a three. Good. Young knocks down the three ball. Trent Young with a three. Now Clark Range will bring it the other way. Monday over to Hall. Hall with the basketball. Off to uh, Phillips. Back up front now. They'll give it to Monday. Monday with the basketball. It's a four-point ball game. Riley Stevens getting ready to check in for Clark Range. 
As they'll give it over now uh, to Monday. Monday, Monday with the ball. Monday working it out front. Monday going to drive down, gives it out to Daedric Phillips. Daedric will kick it back out to Hall. Back into Daedric. Daedric over to Monday. Monday off to Mikowski. 4-10 left to go here in the uh, ball game. Mikowski will give it over to Monday. Monday looking to drive, drives down in, backs it out. Now Monday will try to drive the baseline. Does, and he is going to be fouled by Young, I believe. That's going to go against Brent Young, his second. And that's just the fifth team foul on Piggy County, so Clark Rain's not in the bonus. Four minutes and a tick left to go in this one, a four-point ball game. Out front is Phillips. Phillips over to Hall. Hall with the basketball. Gives it off uh, to Mikowski. Mikowski over to Stevens, almost stolen by Gore. Now Stevens going to drive in. Kicks it down the corner to Hall. Back up front to Monday. Clark Rain's just uh, looking for the good shot, and now we're going to foul on Gibson. Brian Gibson going to pick up his second. That's the 16 foul on the Bobcats. So the next one puts uh, Clark Rain's in the bonus. And it will be Clark Range basketball. Clark Range works it in this time to Stevens. Stevens working it back out front. Stevens with the basketball. Briley working way out front. Briley uh, working in. Now backs it out. Now we're working in against Gore. Drive in. Take it back out. Give it off to Monday. Monday with the basketball. And Monday working it around. Gives it over to Mikowski. Awful early to start the stall game. Now Mikowski has it knocked away from Brian. We're going to get Gibson for foul number three. So Brian Gibson going to pick up his third. And now it's one and one for Mikowski. Our range started. Uh, stalling the ball really early in this one. We'll have to see how that uh, strategy works for him. As it's a four-point ball game, 55-51. And going the line will be Mikowski. Sean Mikowski stepping to the line. First one, good. Mikowski knocks that one down. We'll have one more. Clark Range by five. The girls won 69-60. Your girls fell tonight by final 74-62 down in Cannon County. Second one, good. He hits both ends of it. Sean Mikowski makes it a six-point ball game, and here comes Piggy County trailing by six. Abbott in the front court. Abbott with the basketball. He'll fire for three. Good. Abbott cut it out just like that, and we got timeout called by Piggy County. Timeout on the floor. It's 314 left to go in this one, and we've got a three-point ball game. Boring breakfast? Liven up your breakfast routine with Dairy Queen's delicious biscuits and gravy. We give you warm buttermilk biscuits smothered in a rich country gravy with DQ Signature Sausage. It's a hearty southern classic perfected by Dairy Queen. Available at participating locations. At DQ, we have fan food, not fast food. Whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember, when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And now over. Oh And back to action. Clark Range with the basketball. They'll work it in uh, to uh, Mikowski. Mikowski with the basketball. Mikowski going to give it over to Briley Stevens. Stevens long balls it up to Monday in front court. Monday off to Mikowski. Mikowski over to Stevens. Stevens back out front to Monday. Monday with the basketball over to Stevens. Stevens guarded by Gore working out front. Briley with the basketball working it. Gives it up to Monday. Monday with the basketball. Down to 254 left to go here in the ball game. Or in regulation, I should say this one's far from over. As down is uh, Stevens driving in, gives it out to Monday. Monday with the basketball off to Hall. Hall with it. Hall working out front. Hall, uh, good job handling the ball. Now knocked away. Going to be out of bounds off of uh, Piggy Ca County as uh, now uh, Gore comes up and Gore's. Uh, 
a little bit. Uh, hey, Riley Stevens just blocked him off to keep him from getting the ball, and Gore come up. Uh, looked like he's ready to go, and uh, he'll have to be careful here. You don't want to pick up a technical here. That could be big. And uh, Stevens looking to bring it in, works it in to Monday. Monday with a basketball. Monday working it in the front court. Monday working it out front. And and uh, it's going to be a foul. Monday will go to the line. I didn't see what the call is. Uh, front front us, Gore and uh, Stevens. Uh, looked like they were on date there for a minute. They were up as close. As it's going to be Austin Monday at the line. He's got two free, uh, one free throw, one and one. Missed the front end of it. Big miss. Gibson with the basketball. Bobcats can tie it with a three. 2.28 to go in the game. Out front is Abbott. Abbott goes over to Young. Young with it. Young looking inside. Get it down low to York. York looking. York with the basketball. And we're going to have a foul on the Gore. Gore. Gore was just asking for that one, folks. He he kept getting in uh, Stevens' face, and he got down this the other end and trying to push Stevens around to get underneath. He just picked that one up, and that's going to bring Reagan in as that was not what uh, Pete County needed there as Gore picks up a big foul there. And Coach Amonette up in his face now really telling him about it. The offensive foul, no free throws as Mikowski gets it in front court. Mikowski with the basketball. Mikowski is going to be... Knocked out of bounds uh, by Piggy County, so uh, Clark Range will keep it. Piggy County fans not happy with that one. Ball will come into Monday. Monday, oh, Monday's hitting the face by Young. Young picks up his third personal, and that sends Monday to the line with two minutes and a second left to go on this one. Monday missed the front end of a one and one a minute ago. Now we'll have two this time, so Monday. We'll go to the line for two. First one, good. Rattles and drops. So now it's a one, a lead of uh, four. Now five as money trickles that one over the rim. It's five-point lead with two minutes to go in the ball game. Back the other way, Abbott with the basketball. Still a lot of time left in this one. Abbott looking to drive. He'll take it all the way in, and we're going to have a foul on Mikowski before the shot. And we'll see that one's going to go. Against Sean Mikowski, his second. And that will be just the 16 foul. I'm not sure that was on the shot. They're going to say it was on the shot. but Free throw, Abbott, short on the front end of it. Big miss there. Got another one here. And still cut it down to a four-point game with this one. Second one, good. Abbott hits one, two, and now we got an intentional foul on. Is that going to go against? Get, is that going to go against? That's going to go against Trent Young, I believe. Thirty-four is going. Dadrick's going to shoot. We got an intentional foul, and uh, and that's uh, Trent Young. Trent's going to pick up his fourth foul. And that's an intentional foul. That's going to send Daedric to the line. Daedric Phillips will have two shots here, and Clark Ranger get the basketball back. Free throw by Daedric. No good. He'll have one more. He can still make it a five-point ball game with this one. Still just a two-possession game. The Clark Ranger should get the ball back. Daedric, good. One out of two, it's a five-point Clark Range lead with 1.52 to go in the ball game. And Clark Range gets the basketball right back. It'll be worked into Monday. Monday guarded by Reagan, gets it up to Hall. Hall in the front court. Hall with the basketball, drives down. Hall out to Phillips. Phillips off to Stevens. Stevens guarded by Gibson, gives it over now to Hall. Hall with the ball. Hall working it out front, leaves it over for Stevens, and Stevens going to be fouled by Gibson. Gibson's going to pick up his fourth. He's on the brink of extinction. And it will be going to the line. Briley Stevens for two. Clark Range in the double bonus now. Clark Range 95 seconds away from sweeping Piggy County here tonight. First one, no good. 
Short armed it on that one. Needs to hit this one to make it a two possession for the tie game. And that one good. He hits one out of two. It's a six point Clark Range lead. Piggy got it with the ball. 90 seconds left to go in this one. Had it with the basketball. Comes around the pick. Fires a three. Good. Awesome habit. A big three. And we got a timeout by Piggy County. Timeout with 128 to go. It's 61 58. Clark Range. The Gary Maxwell Insurance Office offering area insurance is located at 300 West Central Avenue in Jamestown. Get a free quote for your home, auto, life, or business with no obligation to buy. Call 879-1251. Shane Beatty, Katie Cooper, Tammy Robbins, and Brad Rains agents, along with Jeff Robbins' manager, will be happy to assist you. That's Gary Maxwell Insurance, located 300 West Central Avenue, with locations in Livingston, Cookville, and Gainesboro. We got a buck 28 left to go in this one. 88 seconds, and it's a three point Clark Range advantage. Clark Range with the basketball. We get back underway. Yeah, Stevens will work to bring it in here. Try to get in money. He throws it away, and it's going to be Piggy County basketball. They say nobody touched it. It'll go out of bounds down on the baseline. And the Bobcats with a chance now to tie this ball game. 87 seconds left in this one. It'll be Gibson to bring it in. Lobs it in to York. York with the ball. York off to Gibson. Passes. Get taken away by Briley Stevens. It goes off the hands of Gibson, and now Stevens going to work it up. Stevens with the basketball into front court. Stevens is going to be fouled by Reagan. Reagan's going to pick up his first of the night. Clark Ranges, Briley Stevens at the line. Big free throws. First one's good. Clark Range leads by four. Now it's a two possession game with 75 seconds left to go on this one. Second one, good as well. He hits both ends of it. 63 58. Clark Range by a nickel. Abbott looking for a room, gives it over to Gibson. Gibson going to cross court to Smith into York. York can't handle the pass. Taken away by Mikowski over to Phillips, and here comes Clark Range. Clark Range going to kick it over to Mikowski. Mikowski in the front court. Mikowski going to hold up, give it up to Monday. Monday going to be uh, through the line. He's going to be fouled by Reagan. And Reagan going to pick up the foul. So going the line now will be Austin Monday, and these are big ones here. With two here, Monday can make this a seven-point game, make it a three-possession ball game, so that's big. First one is good. He'll have one more. 64-58. Park range by six. And the second one, no good, so it's still a two-possession game. As Smith with the ball over to Abbott. Abbott going to bring it up quickly. Abbott in the front court looking for the pick. Abbott going to drive in, and we're going to have a foul. One and one uh, for Abbott. Abbott's going to have a one and one here as he goes in, and that one's going to go against Mikowski. Mikowski's going to pick up his third personal. Free throw, good. Abbott drops the first one home. It's a five-point ball game. Can take the four. Still a two-possession ball game, though. As Abbott goes back up. Second one. Rolls good. Clark Ranger working in. Monday with the basketball. Long pass up to Hall. Hall's going to hold up. Hall's going to be fouled up by Abbott. As Abbott's going to come up quickly and get the personal. That'll be his third. So Nick Hall's going to go to the line now, and Hall's going to have a chance to push this back to a six-point lead if he can knock these free throws down. Big free throws coming up here. 41 seconds left to go on this one. Free throw, good. Hall got a pure stroke on that one. No, I gave that to the wrong person. That should have been up to Nick Hall there. The call hits that one. Second one good as well. He hits both ends of it. Nick with both ends of it. 66-60. Abbott going to try to get free for the three. Does. That one's no good. Rebound Bilbrey. Bilbrey pulls it down. and or They got Stevens pulls it down. And Stevens going to go to the other end. He's going to be fouled. Riley Stevens now will go to the other end. I'll start to give him the free throws a moment ago. Now he will get them. 
Riley going to step to the line. 32 seconds there. One will make it a three possession game. So these are big free throws here. First one, good. It's a seven point game. He can make it eight with this one. 32 ticks left to go. Second one, good. 68-60, Pickett County with the ball. 30 seconds left to go, Abbott. Down quickly to Smith. Smith look three now, will take the three, good. Big basket by Smith, the three ball's good and we got 24 seconds to go and a timeout on the floor. It's time to get out and support our local teams. Hall Family Pharmacy has all the gear you need to cheer on your favorite team. Our Jamestown store has the purple and yellow for York and our Clark Range store is stocked up with the blue and gold for Clark Range. Oh yeah, there's plenty of orange from Volunteer Traditions and Give Her Six at both locations to cheer on the Vols. We are proud of our sports families at each school. It's fun and healthy to take pride in our state and our community, and we have all the equipment you need to look good and have a good time. Hall Family Pharmacy, our family, your health. Because most insurance deductibles have been met by the end of the year, Dr. William Allen at Jamestown Family Chiropractic wants to remind you that this would be a great time to have your spinal alignment checked or to address that nagging discomfort that just seems to linger. And if needed, they also have on-site low emission x-ray equipment that can help determine the extent of the problem. Jamestown Family Chiropractic wants to help you get your new year off to a healthy, pain-free start. Call them today. Well, here we go, final 24 seconds of big. Big basket by Clay Smith. He hit the three ball and cut this back to a six point game. The Clark Range has the basketball. Stevens looking, 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 and are we going to have a foul before the ball comes in? And that one's going to go against Reagan. Reagan called for the foul before the ball even comes in, so no, clock, no time off the clock. So that's not a bad foul by Reagan as he gets it before the ball comes in. Now Monday will go to the line. Austin. First one rolls and drops. He'll have one more. Austin's got 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 points. Looking for 28 right here. Got it. Clark Reigns now by seven, back the other way. Or by, yeah, by seven as Abbott gets it over to Gibson. Gibson steps back for a three, good. Gibson with a three ball, but that may be too little too late. Clark Reigns with the ball up to Mikowski. Mikowski's gonna come through and he's gonna be fouled by York. Bryson York's gonna pick up his fourth. Clark Reigns up by four with eight seconds to go. That uh, may seal the deal there. Has a big basket though on by Gibson as Gibson hit the big three. It's a four point game. Mikowski. Mikowski needs to knock uh, the free throws down. Make this a two possession for the tie. First one good, nothing but string on that one. 71-66, Clark Range by five. Eight seconds left to go on this one. Mikowski. Free throw, good, he hit both ends of it. Sean knocks him down and the Buffaloes now lead by six. Up quickly comes Abbott, four seconds. Abbott to Gibson, Gibson for three, no good. Rebound tipped in by York as the buzzer sounds. Clark Range wins it here tonight, your final. 72-68, Clark Range sweeping. Pickett County here tonight at Pickett County High School. Don't go away. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Broadcast of Pickett County Basketball. When it comes to a state representative, actions speak louder than words is Representative John Mark Wendell's motto. John Mark has been a majority floor leader, a member of the House Transportation, Agriculture, and Natural Resources Committees. Locally, he's been a leader in keeping state funding for York Institute and if one of his constituents has a concern, then it's John Marks too. So when it comes to state representatives, I guess actions do speak louder than words. At MetaThrift, our main focus is on you and your health. That's why we work closely with your hospital, physicians, and other providers to help ensure that your care is coordinated. 
and that your medications will agree with each other and with you. Because at MetaThrift, we're not just a pharmacy. We're part of your health care team. MetaThrift, your prescription for teamwork. As a former educator and now your county executive, J. Michael Cross is a proud sponsor of the York and Clark Range Sports Programs. His passion for the betterment of Fentress County, his vision and determination are all evident in his life. He has plans to see the people of Fentress County prosper by making wise use of every available resource. And J. Michael Cross has the wisdom to keep his ear tuned to the needs of the people. When it comes to watching sports, there's no telling what you'll hear. No, 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 no! But when you order Pizza Hut for the game, you know exactly what you'll hear. What the? Oh, that looks fantastic. Your favorite pizza. Ooh. Those awesome wings. What? Plus sides and desserts. Yeah. All waiting at PizzaHut.com. So order now, because no one out pizzas the hut. Huh. What game? Product availability, prices, participation, delivery areas, and charges and minimum purchase required for delivery may vary. Delivery charges not a driver tip. Speed limit 55. Right turn only. Exit here. With some signs, it's clear what you're supposed to do. But heart attack warning signs aren't always this obvious. They can feel like arm pain, nausea, dizziness, shortness of breath, fatigue. If you experience the warning signs, call 911 and know that at Tenova Healthcare, we're here to help when you need us. And back here at Big Yeti High School with Clark Range Sweeps tonight's action. Uh, let me uh, uh, get uh, quickly here to Coach Rodney Pyle as uh, Coach. Uh, congratulations. A big road win in the district. Oh, big game, big game, big game for us. Uh, boys played their hearts out. Uh, you know, came out a little slow there in the first half. Uh, then we got fired and took the lead. Then they took it right back, uh, took a five-point lead into halftime. And then we came out, scored five quick points. Tied it up, uh, and then we just didn't look back. We did a great job. Uh, just can't say enough about the toughness of our kids and uh, how, how they battled all night and played really hard. So it was a big win. Of course, you know, anytime you get a district road win, that's huge. Uh, we let one slip through our fingers earlier with Monterey at home. we got to take care of a home court advantage. Uh, but tonight was a big road win for us. Coach, uh, you got uh, big points uh, tonight from Nick Hall and Austin Monday, both uh, with over – actually, they had the 28 and 20. And that was the only double digiters you had tonight. Well, that's, that's the way it's going to happen sometimes. We've been very blessed this year. We've had about four uh, guys in double figures. Uh, well, I think we got four guys averaging double figures, so that's really good. Uh, that's you know, But tonight, uh, that's what it was. And that's, uh, you know, Nick was hitting his shots. Austin was being Austin. He's doing a great job playing point and getting his points and getting some assists. And uh, Briley Stevens, I know at halftime, we had him down for about five or six assists at half. Uh, so, you know, he did a great job of distributing the ball. And, you know, sometimes it's not your night. And, Hopefully we can find the guys who, who are hot and who's playing the best and uh, get them the ball and so we can score and, and be a team win. But, uh, you know, great job by our guys tonight. Coach, you got a, a got tough a Livingston tough team on, team on uh, Thursday, night. Thursday night. Livingston yeah. playing pretty good right now. Yeah, Livingston had a little, you know, had a little slow start. Got the football guys, uh, the, you know, they, they weren't there earlier. And uh, now they've got the, them back, so they're they're playing well. Uh, I know Clay. I know they beat Clay earlier without the football guys, so that was a big win for them early in the season. Uh, but you know, Livingston's always a tough matchup. They play hard, uh, and so it's going to be a big big test for us down at their place Thursday night. And then the scheduling God's not good to you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Friday night you're going to Red Bull Springs. Red Bull Springs. It's always tough at home. Always tough, and it's such a unique gym. Uh, it seems like you know they got their their walls painted red and uh, they've got kind of like a dim look, a uh, reddish haze that you know in their gym so it's a great home court advantage for them uh, uh, we, we've done well down there several, you know, last several years that the, they was in our district so they're, they're back and so we've got to make that long trip and uh, unfortunately it's right after a trip to live uh, we, you know, again, we got to show our mental toughness and, and make sure we don't slip up. Uh, you know, uh, Red Bull's got a nice team. They've got uh, uh, they've got a team, they've got a boys, big boy from uh, Macon County, who's a sophomore, who's playing extremely well for them. And so we got to make sure we match up with him. But uh, you know, they got a good little team, and uh, we've, we've got to be ready to go. Well, Coach, we want to thank you for joining us, and uh, great win here tonight. And best of luck on uh, Thursday. We'll see you down living. All right, thanks a lot, Gary. And that was Coach Rodney Pyle, who's uh, Buffalo's uh, win.
win here tonight, and they win 72-68. Uh, don't go away. We'll be back uh, with our progressive postgame show here in just a moment. Confidence, the one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy, and Clark Range Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours. Whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids, Clark Range Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice. Clark Range Drug Center, always earning your confidence. And uh, I think we may have lost power there just a second. But anyway, uh, we're back here, and it's time now for the Progressive Post Game Show. We'll be back on this from Progressive Savings. Cheer this year for all our school teams and activities. Get behind our local schools. Join the parent teachers group and help improve the quality of education. Sponsor school activities. Go to a ball game, hear a concert, reach higher. Progressive Savings Bank, insured by FDIC. And back here where uh, we have a, a sweep for Clark Range tonight. The Lady Buffaloes winning uh, by a final of 69-60. The uh, Buffaloes winning 72-68. We're going to take a, a timeout on the Progressive Bros Game Show, and then we'll be back to give you a wrap-up on the two games. Cheer this year for all our school teams and activities. Get behind our local schools. Join the Parent Teachers Group and help improve the quality of education. Sponsor school activities. Go to a ball game, hear a concert, reach higher. Progressive Savings Bank, insured by FDIC. And back here at uh, P. County High School where the opening game saw the Lady Buffaloes win 69-60. to 60. For Clark Range, you had 18 points for Kaylee Mundy, 17 for Hannah Garrett, 11 for Reese Stover, 14 in the game for Cassie Mundy, 6 for Charity Crab, 3, 3 in the game for Gracie Bush. For P. County, Leah Brown had 20, Courtney Bridget had 21, 14 for Abby Bilbrey, 4 for Gracie Martin, 1 in the game for Savannah Hammock. In the nightcap, Clark Range boys win at 72-68. It was 28 points for Austin Monday, 25 for Nick Hall, 6 apiece for uh, Sean Mikowski and Briley Stevens, 2 for Josh Bilbrey, 3 for Daedric Phillips, 2 of the game for Nate Hall, while uh, Pete Kenny got to 25 from Dawson Abbott, 21 from Brian Gibson, 4 for Bryson York, uh, Parker Gore had 2, Trent Young 5, 3 for Clay Smith and 7 in the game for John Reagan. Uh, Clark Range uh, sweeps it here tonight. They win both of them. We'll thank our sponsors from both Fentress and Pete Kenny for tonight's action. These games will be shown on uh, Twin Lakes Cable Channel 953 uh, for York and uh, for Clark Range and then on uh, 954 for Piggy County. So be sure to catch that. I think we're going to show these on Sunday, but we'll have that announcement coming up sometime this week. Until uh, Friday night, or Thursday night, I should say, Thursday night, I'll be on the road at, uh, at Livingston Academy, Clark Range and Livingston. Then on Friday night, I got York at Cumberland County, while uh, Delane will be back on Friday, and I think uh, Piggy County is going to be at uh, Clay County, if I'm not mistaken, on Friday, and Delane will have the live call of that one. So that one's coming up on uh, Friday night, so uh, we wish her the very best and hope she makes a safe journey down uh, to uh, Florida and back. Uh, to, should she be back for that game on Friday? Until Thursday night for 15104 Sports, I'm Gary Clark. See you at the game.